Welcome to the Superdome Order Submission Overview. We'll be covering the following topics. Order Submission, Order Display, OCO Functionality, and Simulated Orders. We will focus on submitting orders on the price ladder and via the quick buttons first. Submitting orders in the Superdome window is performed with different combinations of mouse clicks and keyboard keys. Limit orders are submitted above the market on the sell side with a left click and below the market on the buy side with a left click. MIT or market if touched orders are submitted by holding control on your keyboard and then left clicking at the desired price level above the market on the sell side or below the market on the buy side. Market if touched orders can be changed to the left mouse button by right clicking in your Superdome and selecting properties. Then enable the option left mouse button is MIT by left clicking the checkbox. This in turn will change limit orders to submission via control on your keyboard and the left mouse click. Stop market orders are submitted by holding the control button on your keyboard and then clicking the middle mouse button, also referred to as your scroll wheel. Stop market orders are submitted below the market on the sell side and above the market on the buy side. Stop limit orders are placed by clicking the middle mouse button above the market on the buy side or below the market on the sell side. A numeric field will appear before the order is submitted. This field is the number of ticks away that you wish to place the limit order price of your stop limit order. Select OK to accept the offset value or X to cancel the placement of the order. You can also set the stop limit offset under the properties menu, stop limit offset option. Setting this to off will allow you to set the offset each time you place a stop limit order, or you can set a default value for the offset. Negative offsets can also be applied to submit the stop limit as a simulated stop order. Using a negative offset will place the order to trigger at a breakout price, but try to fill you at a better price. The stop market order can be changed to the middle mouse button by right clicking in your Superdome and selecting properties. Then enable the option middle mouse button is stop market by left clicking the checkbox. This will also change the stop limit order submission to holding the control button on your keyboard and middle mouse clicking. The quick buttons available in the Superdome allow for submission of orders at market, bid, or ask. Left clicking on the market button on the left hand side of the PL display will submit a market order to buy. And left clicking on the market button on the right hand side of the PL display will submit a market order to sell. Holding control on your keyboard and left clicking will submit an order to the bid price. And holding shift on your keyboard will submit an order to the ask price. You can also show all three quick buttons at once upon the price ladder display by right clicking in your Superdome and selecting properties. Then enable the show quick buttons option and select OK. You can now select market, bid, and ask, and you can use the add or remove target buttons via the plus target or minus target button for your ATM strategies. ATM strategies can be set to your orders so that when your order is filled, it will automatically submit the protective orders you have designed for the ATM strategy template. To attach an ATM strategy to an order, select the ATM strategy template you wish to use from the drop down menu. Then place the desired order. Once the order fills, the stop loss and profit target orders will be submitted at the predefined price levels. We will now go over the order display upon the price ladder. Orders will be displayed on the price ladder with an acronym for its name and a specific color. Limit orders will be displayed as LMT with the color cyan. Stop limit orders will be displayed as SLM with the color violet. Stop market orders will be displayed as STP with the color pink. And market if touched orders will be displayed as MIT with the color spring green. Simulated stop orders will be displayed with the appropriate order name of either STP or SLM and the color yellow to indicate it is a simulated order. Quantity will be displayed as a size marker upon the flag of the order. When multiple orders are listed at the same price level, 
you will notice an S next to the size marker to indicate stacked orders. Right-clicking upon the order will provide various options for each of the orders at the price level, including options for cancel order, increase and decrease price, and indicator tracking. Stop loss and profit target orders will be displayed on the Superdome price letter across the buy, price, and sell columns at the price level of the orders. Profit targets will be displayed in green and the stop losses will be displayed in red. Both stop loss and profit target orders will display their quantity listed on the side of the market the order will execute. If your stop loss and or profit target is outside of the visible range on your Superdome, you can quickly view the price level by right clicking in the Superdome and disabling Auto Center. Then either scroll up or down to the order or click the middle mouse button above or below the current price level in the price column. Clicking the middle mouse button to show the stop loss or profit target level will only work if you do not have single click order modification enabled. To enable single click order modification, you must right click in your Superdome and select properties, then locate the single click order modification option. This will allow you to adjust your stop loss and profit target levels via a single click. This will only work for your stop loss and profit target levels. To return to the current price action, please either right click and enable auto center or left click the C button on your Superdome. We will now focus on the OCO functionality available in the Superdome. Orders can be submitted in sets that will cancel each other when one of the other orders in the set is filled or canceled via the OCO or one cancels other function in the Superdome. ATM strategy stop loss and profit target orders are automatically sent as OCO. However, you can submit your own orders as OCO as well. An example of submitting OCO orders can be in the case that you wish to buy or sell at specific price levels. Whichever order fills first, you wish for the other order to cancel. OCO can be used to create a breakout fade entry, which can be accomplished with the following instructions. First, right click in your Superdome window and enable the OCO order option via left click. Select your desired ATM strategy template from the ATM strategy dropdown list. Submit your first order to buy above the market. Select the next order's ATM strategy template from the ATM strategy dropdown list. Submit your second order to sell below the market. It is important to remember to right click in your Superdome and select OCO order once again to disable this option. Leaving this option enabled and continuing to submit orders will tie these orders to your breakout fade entry and could have undesired effects such as your breakout fade entry orders being canceled. OCO can also be used to bracket an open position. In the case an open position does not have an ATM strategy attached, you can submit your own protective orders. Make sure your ATM strategy dropdown list is set to none. Right click in the Superdome window and enable the OCO order option via a left click. Place your limit order above the market on the sell side if you are long or below the market on the buy side if you are short. Then place your stop market order below the market on the sell side if you're long or above the market on the buy side if you're short. And finally, right click in your Superdome and make sure to disable the OCO order option. We will now focus on the simulated stop orders. Simulated stop orders allow you to execute a market or limit order once the market touches your order's price level and satisfies the simulated stop order volume trigger. The simulated stop orders are conditional based execution of your order and are held locally on your PC. This means the orders are not at the broker or exchange server until the simulated stop order volume trigger is met and the order is submitted as a limit or market order. To submit a simulated stop order in Superdome, please right click in your Superdome and select simulated order to enable this option. You will notice an SO indication on the top right hand corner of the Superdome window next to the link option. While simulated order is enabled, all stop orders will be submitted as simulated stop orders. Simulated stop orders allow you to submit a negative limit for your stop limit orders. This allows you to place a stop limit order where the limit price level is better than the stop price level. The simulated stop order volume trigger is the number of shares or contracts that represents a floor. 
Once penetrated, the simulated stop order will be triggered. The simulated stop order is triggered once the market price is trading at the price level of your stop order and the volume trigger condition is breached. Simulated stop orders provide such benefits as hiding your order from the market, preventing execution of your order if the market quickly drops to your order's price level, delaying the execution until the volume has penetrated the volume trigger, and executing a limit order at an improved price from the stop price level. Simulated stop orders are held on your PC and are subject to issues such as internet connection loss, computer crashes or power outages. Simulated stop orders require stable and reliable market data. If the market data stops, the simulated stop orders will stop simulating. Simulated stop orders can experience slippage during high volume periods and in high volatility markets. The orders are simulated and are not submitted until the simulated stop order volume trigger is breached. This means the order is not live until the trigger is breached and could result in being rejected should you not have the available margin to cover the order. Thank you for viewing the Superdome Order Submission Overview.